Hi everyone and welcome to Friday's Assembly. I hope you've all had a great week. We've had a great week in school this week with more and more children back in school. We've been open to nursery, reception, year one and year six, as well as some of our key, key families too. Um, the good news is from Monday, we'll be opening up to year five as well. So there'll be more children coming through the door um, for those parents that have responded to our survey. So it'd be great to welcome back even more children, have them back in school and getting them learning, seeing their friends and seeing their teachers before we break up for the summer. So that's really good news. So if you've missed that survey and you're a year five parent, please make sure that you have responded. So we need to know that yes or no to be able to make the right arrangements in school to make sure everywhere's safe and everywhere's uh, all prepared for that opening. Um, like I say, it's been a great week. So I'm gonna hand over now to our teachers and see who our stars of the week are. Enjoy. Hello everyone. Uh, my pupil of the week this week uh, is going to be Dainton. Not only has he kept us all entertained every break time for the whole of the week with his brilliant magic tricks, He's also done um, an absolutely fabulous character description in our English lessons. <clears throat> so congratulations, well done, Dainton. Uh, Miss Spittle has asked me to mention that from her group, she would like to congratulate Etna. And this is for really fantastic work in PSHE and for having the confidence to read out her work to the whole class. So well done, Etna, as well. Hello and welcome to Hasbro to Stars of the Week video. Uh, now this week I've chosen two children for my Stars of the Week who have been working incredibly hard throughout the whole of our homeschooling. Um, both children have already received the Star of the Week video at this earlier stages. However, both of these children have continued to work extremely hard, completing every task daily on Google Classrooms. They log in to do the math. They're logging into mathematics to also complete tasks. They um, they send me daily photos on class dojos of their work, um, and I'm just really impressed at the, the how remarkable they are being. So my two stars of the week this week for houseboats are Callum Mutter and Molly. Well done to both of you. Some fantastic work, uh, and can you keep it up? Fantastic. Good afternoon kids and welcome to this week's star of the week. So I've chosen this week's star because they're really going full steam ahead with their learning now and they've also written an absolutely amazing finding tale based on the game. So star of the week this week is Casey. Well done Casey. Have a lovely weekend. Good afternoon. For Star of the Week, this week in Class TP, I have chosen Jack Dobson, who has worked extremely well on symmetry, reflecting shapes correctly. Well done, Jack. My Star of the Week goes to Elijah Unum. And I've chosen Elijah not only because of the work that he's doing on Google Classroom, but because his mum's let me know that he's become a great help around the house and is helping his younger brother with his learning as well. Well done, Elijah. Hi there, everybody. Uh, so this week, my star of the week in my group uh, is Roche. She's been in and worked so hard this week. Some great answers. Uh, I've been very impressed with um, her maths work, which she doesn't always find easy, but her maths learning has been fantastic. And, and also her spelling work and her English character description was really, really good. So well done to her. Uh, Miss Gray would like to nominate Lola in her group from my class. Uh, she said she's gone above and beyond this week uh, in terms of her work, getting on, and um, been a real shining light in the class. So well done, Lola, as well. Thanks, everybody. 
for um, our Remarkable Assembly th this week from Hive Class, I've chosen Tamreek Kaur and that's for her amazing home learning. Tamreek continues to work every single day completing all of the activities and I love seeing photographs come in of the different activities that she's been doing and some of the writing. You're working really, really hard Tamreek so keep that up. And then in school I've chosen um, Messias Paolo and that's because Messias found it a little bit tricky when he came into school on his first day back. He found it a little bit strange having his own table and um, having to sit down for most of the day. Um, and kind of had forgotten some of the work that we'd done before we finished. But I have to say Messias has worked really incredibly hard and he's beginning to now become much more confident at coming into school and he's becoming um, much more confident within lessons as well with his phonics. So well done Messias, keep that up as well. So well done to both children in Hive class this week. Hi everyone, my star of the week in Den class this week is Malak. Malak, you are star of the week because you have been pushing the limits in all things that you do. I've been incredibly proud of how your work is being presented beautifully, especially in your maths and your handwriting. And I was really, really impressed with your maths this week when you were describing the positions and you set it out beautifully with your beautiful drawings. So well done, keep it up. Good girl. Hi everyone. Star of the week in caravan this week goes to Davi. Davi, I'm so proud of you. You submit work set for you every day and you're really creative with how you present your work. So well done. Keep up the hard work. My star of the week this week is Leaven Meredith in Igloo class. He's done some excellent reading work all about the Vikings and he's got every single one of his comprehension questions correct. Well done, Leaven. Hi everybody. My star of the week this week is Amelia. She's been working really hard on Google Classroom. She made a beautiful Inside the Body poster and a Black Lives Matter campaign poster as well. Well done, Amelia. Keep it up. I'm really proud of you. The star of the week this week for Dre class is Lacey. Now, Lacey loves the challenge and really thrives through online learning. She always tries her best for every piece of work, but in 100%. I'm very impressed by her work ethic and how motivated she is. She has such a positive attitude and I'm very proud of her. Well done, Lacey. Keep it up. Happy Friday reception! Right, um, I have picked um, a star of the week this week from um, Cobweb class and from Borough class from the children who are um, do completing their learning in school. So, in Borough class this week, the star of the week is Jacob. Jacob has worked really hard with his letter formation, um, writing his name, and he can now write his first and his surname, and he's getting really beautiful letter formation. And Cobweb Star of the Week is Messiah. Messiah has also worked really hard on writing his name, and he's trying really, really hard with his reading. Well done, both. In nursery this week, we are going to give Star of the Week to Sheila. Sheila is engaged really well with all of the class dojo learning. We appreciate all of the family's hard work. Well done, Sheila. Hello, welcome to the Star of the Week assembly. So, um, I'm choosing the Stars of the Week for Burrow and Cobweb from our virtual classroom. So, my Star of the Week for um, Cobweb's virtual classroom is Keon. Well done, Keon. You've had an amazing week. You've done some really, really, really good work. Um, your story map was fantastic, you've done some really good maths and your phonics is amazing and you've been working so hard on your letter formation and making sure you're getting them right. So well done you. And then my start of the week for Burrow Virtual Classroom is Zephaniah. Zephaniah has been working so, so hard this week. He's been completing lots and lots of work um, with mum. Mum's really been encouraging him to engage and keep on going and it's really starting to pay off because that pencil grip and letter formation is really, really coming on Zephaniah. So well done to you, Zephaniah and Keon, and to um, the rest of the children who are still learning at home. Keep up the good work, keep on um, engaging with Dojo, and next week maybe it might be you. So a huge thank you to our teachers there for all those lovely messages. I know it means a lot to all of the children, so a big well done if you got a shout out today. 
Um, I just want to end the assembly by saying there'll be photographs following from some of the events taking place this week, either sent in from home or activities happening in school. Um, and also, I would just like to mention before I go that on the 1st of July, there'll be a remarkable lives festival, which is run by our trust, which will be a virtual festival. So children in school will be off timetable that day and they will be taking part in the competitions, the fun activities, and the whole day will be uh, presented by CBB's presenters, uh, Sam and Mark. Um, there'll be staff awards, there'll be soak the head teachers, which I know some of you saw the photographs of me getting soaked this week. Um, so there's soak the head teachers, there's TikTok dancing and teacher TikTok. Uh, so lots of fun activities on those on that day. So look out for the links for that so that you can get involved in that as well if you're at home. So like I say, it's a virtual festival. So we will be sending more and more information out about that so as many of you can get involved. Uh, I just want to end by saying as well, big shout out to Chloe, uh, who made, Chloe, who made the finals um, dance competition for AET. Now she, she was a very strong runner up um, to the winner that was from Lee Forest. So I had a split camp because both of my schools were in the finals. Uh, but I wanted to say a big well done to Chloe because she did a fantastic dance and represented Four Dwellings Primary brilliantly. Um, so well done Chloe and thank you for representing us. And then I would like to wish you all a really great weekend and we'll see you all again on Monday. Take care.